About a month ago, I published a failure video where I tested several cheap SD cards from eBay. I bought about eight to nine of them, I believe, and over half of them ended up being fakes. They were actually four gigabyte to eight gigabyte micro SD cards masked as 32 to 64 gigabyte micro SD cards via their firmwares. They were essentially unusable um, because after writing over their actual capacities, they would just overwrite all of the content on the card over and over and over again. Um, so it essentially made the card unusable. I did not find any software online that would actually allow you to reflash the firmware to the SD card, but there is something really, really easy you can do to actually make these fake SD cards usable again. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to be able to actually restore these to their advertised capacities because that is impossible. I mean, if there's only four gigabytes of flash on the card, you're not going to be able to magically make 32 gigabytes of flash somehow appear. So what do we do now? Well, there's really two approaches I could think of off the top of my head that would work. The first approach is that you can use all the built-in tools in Windows to uh, nuke this drive and then repartition it. You could use a combination of the command line disk part and the uh, GU why disk management utility to get that done. But unfortunately, that method doesn't always work. Now, the second method um, is much more reliable and it's going to be much easier for you guys. We are going to be utilizing Buddhists to repartition this drive. And if you guys want to check Buddhists out, the link to it will be down in the description. So as you guys can see, I have it in my downloads directory right now. I believe I am pronouncing it right. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know in the comments section. So I'm just going to double click on this, run it as an administrator. And you can see that right off the bat, uh, our 32 gigabyte, yeah, 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card is selected. Now, depending on how your drive set up, you might have to take a couple different steps from here. And I'm going to show you those steps in just a second after I go through uh, this main uh, tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the parts manager option. We want to repartition it. And we're going to select USB HDD mold, multi-partitions, okay. And we want to set one partition um, as the primary partition. And that partition is going to be under the specified size that we have from H2 test W. So under 7.5 gigabytes, I'm just going to set it to 700 or 7,000, sorry, uh, megabytes to be safe. And let's label this, uh, I, I don't know, actual because it's the actual partition. And we don't really care about all the other ones, so just leave those blank, and we're gonna hit OK. OK. Congratulations, formatting was successful, yay. So go ahead and click OK again, and you can see uh, the real partition right here. Now you're probably wondering what we're gonna do with all these other partitions that, you know, are just going to corrupt themselves, and we're just gonna hide them. So just click hide on all of them. And that's all there is to it. If we go into computer, it should show up as uh, an approximately seven gigabyte SD card. There we go, uh, 6.83 gigabytes. And if I run H2 test W on it, which I will do right now, you can see that it will not come out with any errors. So I'm gonna close this, exit out of this, and run H2 test W all over again. As you guys can see, it's not perfect, but it is usable now. Out of the seven gigabytes of data that I transferred over to that micro SD card, I lost approximately 15.2 megabytes of it. And that's, you know, really minuscule. You gotta keep in mind that this flash storage is very crude, very cheap, and that is to be expected. Do not, I repeat, do not use flash storage like this in a critical application because it will come, I guarantee you, it will come back to you and bites you right in the butt. Do, do not use this for something critical. If you're just transferring, you know, some files over uh, between PCs, then it might be okay. Uh, but if you're using this to like, I don't know, film your child's birthday or some special memory like that, not a great idea. Do not do not use this uh, this flash drive that we kind of hacked right here. Uh, well, I guess partitioned. As you can see, I transferred over six gigabytes worth uh, gigabytes worth of video files over to the micro SD card, and I'll just play them back real quick to show you that they are uh, indeed intact. 
I made a small mistake here. My screen recorder was recording the audio from my microphone and the audio from the video at the same time, so things just became a garbled mess. Uh, But yes, Behind the Scenes Episode 4 is now out. I am planning on building a media PC during the month of February, and I will be giving that away to one lucky subscriber based in the US. Total budget of 85 bucks. And I already had the parts picked out. So if you want to see the parts that I uh, bought for the media PC build, go ahead and check out Behind the Scenes Episode 4. Link will be down in the description. And as you guys can see, the videos are playing back just fine. No issues there. So for non-critical applications, you know, you're just transferring some files over, then this is completely adequate. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to talk about, and it's related to a possible error that you might run into when you try to partition the drive. It might say access denied, and you're going to freak out, your heart's going to drop, and you're going to get really frustrated. Well, don't. There's an easy fix to that. We're going to hit process PBR right here with our drive selected, and we're just going to hit the pre-selected option, which is uh, boot manager, boot record, FAT, FAT32, NTFS, etc., and we're going to hit install slash config. Okay. Yay. So now that that's done, if you go into parts manager and try to set the partitions, it should work now. You should not run into any errors. So that's going to be about it for this video uh, about getting your fake flash storage back to a usable state. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to uh, drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links, or you can also check out my Patreon. All of those links will be down in the description as well. And of course, please don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.